So I can show you that this is true with our Teflon rod. So here is the Teflon rod here, and I've got the fur here to charge it up in a minute. And now we need a conductor. And for the conductor, I'm going to go with these. So I was a child in the 70s, and in the 70s, Christmas trees were decorated with these icicles. They're little strands of conducting material, and they were very fun to play with as a kid, and then they disappeared for a very long time. I think it's because they were made out of lead, right? And kids would go to the tree and, you know, and try to eat them, and that's not good. So, but then suddenly, two years ago, I had actually searched for them for many years. Two years ago, I'm at Target, and they've got just a huge wall of these things. I think they basically cut up, found a cheap way to make mylar and cut it up into tinsel. So I was all excited. I bought like 20 of these things. So I now have enough tinsel to last me forever in demos. But the point is, it's a conducting material and it's very thin. So if there's a force on it, we will, we will see the force because the material will actually deform and bend and, and move around. So I'm going to take just one of these out and I'm going to charge up the rod like this. All right, and I'm going to take my icicle here. And, oh, see, there it goes. It really wants to touch the charged rod. Right in there. Anywhere. It says, let me touch it anywhere. So the charge in the icicle is being redistributed. And if this thing is negative, then the negative charges in the icicle are being pushed towards me, which leaves the other end positive. So it's strongly attracted toward the rod. Just like we predicted over there.